Horse speed! They got the stallion! Come on! Teresa, get back in the house! Open this door. Leave. My father. Marquise. Oh. There's somebody in there with you, Barbara, and I know who it is. Hurry. Barbara. Hurry. Barbara. Much as I hate to eat and run. Open this door. Barbara. Barbara, open this door. You're Scott Lancer, in the band, the son of Murdoch Lancer. So I'm told, never met the gentleman myself. Bob is the name, Pinkerton office. We find people. Well, I haven't lost any. So as much as I've enjoyed our little conversation. Your father wants to see you, and he's willing to pay for it. All expenses to California, and $1,000 for one hour of your time. Madrid. I'm Madrid. Well, finally found you. Senor. It uh, is muy importante that you do not kill El Senor Madrid. Sabi? La vida of El Senor Madrid is worth muy dinero. Sabi? Con mucho gusto. That ought to do it. Why are you doing this? I'm a Pinkerton agent. Your father wants to see you. Lancer? Willing to give you $1,000 for an hour of your time. Going 
the Morocoya? Unless I'm lost. You mind if I get a lift? Sure thing. We'll take care of that gun of yours. Here. Up your outfit. Can't be helped. me, yeah? I am sorry. Which one have you said? I did. You're Johnny. That's right. Then you're Scott Lancer. No, ma'am. He's no Lancer. My mother only had one kid, and that was me. <laughs> Likewise. Oh, well, we didn't expect you both at the same time, but, but actually you're right. It's Mr. Lancer that had two. Two what? Wives. And sons. You two. Tell me, Teresa. Do you work for my father? Our father. I was born on Lancer. My father was a foreman here for 16 years. Was? Well, he was murdered last November, the same time Mr. Lancer was shot. Murdered by who? Well, Mr. Lancer will tell you that. What he won't tell you is how much it means to him to let you both come here. beautiful place in the whole wide world, Lancer. It's open. Thank you. You drink, don't you? When I know the man I'm drinking with, yeah. You got your mother's temper. You got your mother's eyes. I want a drink. You got something to say, old man? Say it. thousand dollars apiece.
Maybe you better count it. I plan to. Come and get your money. I'll settle for this drink. You'll do as you're told. Will I? I want no favors from either one of you. <laughs> Far be it for me to spoil the family reunion. Thanks. What do I call you? Under the circumstances, father hardly seems... Call me anything you like. We're strangers to each other. Maybe that's my fault, maybe it isn't. Well, no apology necessary. You'll get no apology from me. If the air needs clearing, let's clear it. Your mother's family thought she was daft to marry me. Not a year off the boat from Inverness. And maybe they were right. You were born, she died, I left you in their hands. Period. A couple of years later, I met your mother down at Metamoros. She... We got married. Two years after that, I awoke one morning, found her gone. You along with her. That ain't the way I heard it. I don't care what you heard. It's past. Bad or good, right or wrong, it's past and gone. We're talking about now. What's happening out there? To this ranch? The girl Teresa said you were having some trouble. Last fall, somebody made off with one of our horses. My Segundo and I trailed him to a place called Moro Coyo. We walked right into it. O'Brien was killed and I ended up with his leg that's gone sour on me. Since then, my fences have been cut, beef stolen, workers frightened off, burned out. Three months ago, I had 150 vaqueros, now I've got 18. Well, then that's the uh, ranch you're worried about, huh? I love this ground more than anything God ever created. I've got a gray hair for every good blade of grass you see out there. They're trying to drive me off this place. Who? You'll hear them called land pirates. That's close enough. You mean to tell me the men can just come along and drive you off your land? They're doing it. Since I was hit, they've taken three other estancias. What about the law? There isn't any. They killed two good men, Joe Carvajal from Modesto, Peterson from San Jose. The others quit. Found business elsewhere. The only law we got here is pack law. The big dog gets the meat. By summer, they'll own half of this state. This big dog got a name? Pardee. Day. Day Pardee. You know him? Oh, yes, I know him. He's a gunfighter, and he's pretty good. Yeah, I'd say you have some kind of trouble. Just how many men does he have, this Pardee? 20 or 25. It doesn't exactly put him in a class with Adler the Hun. You got the floor. Well, it seems to me you have a very simple military problem here. One, find the enemy. Two, engage him. Three, destroy him. <laughs> Something funny? Mm. Well, he's saying it's not that kind of a fight, but you could be wrong. I got 18 good men, only the best stayed. You two make 20. Now, wait a minute. This is listening money. Now, all of a sudden, you're talking about gun money. Well, let me tell you something. That's extra. That don't come on the lunch. I want more than your guns. What more? I want your arms and your legs and your guts, if you got any. All right, see, I come up with all these arms, legs, and guts you're talking about. What do you come up with? One third. Of what? Everything you see out there. One hundred thousand acres, 20,000 head of beef. Finest Campanero de Palominos in the San Joaquin. One third, huh? You wouldn't mind putting that down on a piece of paper, would you? No offense. Let's do. Agreement of partnership. Equal shares to each of us. But I call the tune. Agree? You didn't sign it. Nothing for nothing. 
You get your share of this ranch when you prove to me you're man enough to hold it. When's that? When you get the man that put the bullet in my back. Five dollars. I told you you'd have to fight to hold on to this place. What do you say? I've already given you my answer. What about you, boy? I'd like to see my property go up in flames. Our property. Sleep well? I always sleep well. Well, now, will you look at this? They're all over the place. What? This this $20 gold piece. Found one in my room, too. It's like guest money, you know? It saves you asking for a loan. Nice custom. Teaches you something. Teaches you never pass up a $20 gold piece. Help yourself. It's yours. Oh, well, thank you. A third of it, anyway. Talking about that piece of paper you showed us? Let me tell you something about paper. You touch a match to it and it burns right up. You don't give the old man too much credit, do you? Well, I tell you, I don't give anybody too much credit. It saves a lot of disappointment. Well, will you look at that? Hey, who's this other officer all smarted up? It's General Phil Sheridan. I was in his unit during the war. Very pretty. I photograph well. Yeah, you are kind of a snappy dress at that. What kind of a unit did you say that was? Good morning. Does anyone around here ever knock when they enter a room? Oh, think of me like a sister. Hey, Cipriano's cut out two horses for you. He's waiting in the corral. Yeah, you tell him I'll be right down. We're going to have to buy you some new clothes for living around here. What's wrong with my clothes? Well, I mean, if you're planning on staying in these parts, well, that just ain't the style. Of course I'm planning to stay. Well, look, I tell you, uh, get it said, brother. Just this. What I got in mind is pretty much of a one-man deal. You're going to make me feel left out of things if you're not careful. Better left out than in the ditch. With ants crawling across your eyeballs. That don't photograph too well. Yours, Boston. Yeah, I saw it. Saw this one as well. What do you think you're doing? Hey, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Fine animal. In answer to your question earlier, it was a cavalry unit I was in. Well, I'll say one thing, Boston. You sure do know how to ride. 
That don't make you ready for day party. You gotta end up with a bullet in your back. An awful lot of back shooting going on around here. Well, you see, that's it. You gotta do it to them before they do it to you. How good are you? See ya. Where should I tell Mr. Lancer you're going? Tell him I've gone to town to break up one of them gold pieces. You got bad manners. <laughs> you gonna teach us from good ones? Maybe. Well, well, well. I do believe we got us a hard one here, huh? Let's see how long it takes to make a good dog out of you. Okay. That's my water. Bring it here. <laughs> dog won't fetch. It's got to be taught. Water, mister. I mean to have that for my tub. I doubt it. Oh, do you now? Because they got bathtubs in hell. What's that? You're dead. So are you, son. Well, I picked a good day for it. You better believe me, sonny boy. I do, I do. Only question I'll be is how many. Yeah, a long time. Care for a drink? Yeah, sure. Are you looking for me? No, but I have a few I'd find you. I heard you got yourself killed out in Mexico. Yeah, almost. Uh, some kind of revolution? Yeah, something like that. You doing any good? I met some nice people. No money? No. Turned out we didn't have any. And <laughs> that's why the revolution. Any money here, Johnny? Yeah? That's what I hear. Well, what is your business here? Day, yeah, I'm just looking. Well, your best shot? Something like that, yeah. Well, you found it. Now I can use you, Johnny. <laughs> you let me think about it. Hey, you ain't already tied up with somebody else, are you? No, and I said I'd think about it, and I will. Now take your time, John. Don Balamero, this is Scott Lancer. He's come to buy some things. Oh, welcome, senor. Please, this way. Thank you. Get that, también. Venga, senor, por favor. Hey, that girl from Lancer just rode in. You got a fancy down with her, too. We'll lean on him a little. Find out who he is. Yeah. <sighs> Don't take too long, John. You might miss all the fun. See you around? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, perhaps this one, senor. Thank you. I'll try it. Si, senor. Meanwhile, you might ask Miss Teresa what else she thinks I need to be properly dressed out here. Oh, well, he needs everything. He needs some trousers and a jacket and some work shirts. And don't worry, I'll pick out some very, very nice things for you. Come on, Mr. Balnamero. Si, senorita. Oh, and listen, I'm not quite sure of his size, but I'm sure we can figure it out. Imagine. We can ask him later. Oh, but of course, for the son of Mr. Lancer, we shall find the best. Please come this way. This way, 
Coley. Well, we, we leaned on him a little, just like you said. When he leaned back? Yeah. He's Lancer's kid. <laughs> the old man, he's getting some help, huh? Yeah. You know, that must mean that he's hurting. Could also mean he can get more help. Well, I think we said just about enough fires for now. Saddle up! We're moving out. Well, we're finally going to hit Lancer. Well, that was a plan. We're just going to move it up a little, huh? Now, wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. Now, look. The walls in that house are pretty thick. And some of those Mexicans, they're, they're more than fair with the rifle. Well, we'll just get them out from behind them walls. How are you going to do that? Will, will you mount up, huh? I'll show you. Come on. I told you to stay out of it, didn't I? Well, you did anyway. Well, if you want to get yourself killed, that's your business. That's uh, quite a bruise you got. I just couldn't resist thanking you for your help, brother. Don't you call me brother because you share that old man's blood. You oh. ain't nothing to me. Stop it! Stop it, you hear me? You ought to be ashamed. Brothers fighting. Look, I'm sorry. Wait a minute. We ought to be able to get along. After all, we both came here for the same reason. That's why I came. The money? What else? My mistake. Why do you think I came? Loyalty and love for Murdoch Lancer. You want to know what he did to my mother? He gave her the keys to the road one day and said, what's your hurry? And just a minute, don't forget Buster here. That's not true. That's not true about Mr. Lancer and your mother. We well, never made her leave. She left of her own free will. Now look, you don't know what you're... She ran off with somebody. He was some kind of a gambler or something. She just packed up and left with him. Did he tell you that? 
exactly what my father told me. And it's true. If anybody was done a wrong, Johnny, well, it was Murdoch Lancer. And there's something else you ought to know. All right. No, no, listen. When your father wasn't sure whether he'd live or die, I sat with him. And he kept saying your mother's name, Johnny, asking for her. So if you want to hate him because he, he's stubborn or wrong-headed lots of the times, or proud, well, they're their fault. But don't hate him for your mother, Johnny, because he loved her. In your murder! I ride, I see smoke, at Caspar's place, I ride over here. What I see, senor. Talk on the way while we're after them. Did you ever think that's exactly what they want us to do? The thought did cross my mind. But that trail could also lead us to their camp. Unless they double back through Moro Coyo and hit the ranch house where we're miles away somewhere chasing tracks. Men are all mounted and waiting. Cipriano, you said you wanted to talk to us. Cipriano, you said their tracks led to the San Benitos Mountain. Do you know them well? Like my hand, senor. Is there a pass up there? A steep one and narrow. Can you find it? With my eyes shut, senor. Good. Ready? Do you know what's going to happen up there with a couple cow hands and a tin soldier? That sun will be coming down in about a half an hour. And you're going to be stumbling around up there in the dark, blowing each other's heads off. You call the tune. What do you say? I say you go. Cipriano, tell the men we'll be right there. Is it up? Coming? Are you going or not? Is that an order? There's only one man that's going to run this ranch. Party is sucking you out in the open. You'll either cut your cowboys or shreds up in that pass or go for you in this house when nobody's here. Now you got one chance. Ford up here and wait. For what? Till I found Party. Maybe you found him already. Well, go on. What were you doing in Moro Coyo? Is that what you think of me? I don't know what to think of you. Think what you like. Where are you going? I never was much good at taking orders. Stay together about a hundred yards behind me. Cipriano, you with me. Now, 
meet the rest of the guys. your sons out there, aren't you? They're strangers to me. It'll take a little time. But once they get to know you... Stop hating me. Oh, they don't hate you. They want to love you. I ought to get myself a dog. They don't answer back. You miss your daddy, don't you? Yes. But I've got you. You have. You surely have. Johnny, you made up your mind yet. Yeah. Yeah, I made up my mind. We're gonna be moving out soon. We'll get breakfast at the Lancer Ranch. He wants in? That's right. I'm not so sure I trust him. just far enough to make them think we'd taken the bait. Then we cut back through Cipriano's Pass. They shouldn't be along soon. It'll be daylight in a few minutes. Teresa got my rifle. Where's Johnny? Gone. Gone where? What difference? Go through this pasture and take them from the front. I'll take the rest of them going for the rear. Johnson, you get them ready, spread them out. We'll take a look. Come on. All right. Hold on. Ah, Harry, go. Go. Not Madrid. What? This is my land. And I want you to get off. It's your land. You know the land, sir.
going? I don't understand. That's what I was trying to do. He was coming back to us. Thanks, brother. We're just about giving up on you, boy. Well, you had your plan and I had mine. Take your time. Take your time. Above your name. And you, sir? Oh, Mr. Randolph, I, uh, I should have told you. That last name should read John Madrid. Not Lancer. I'll fix it in a minute. No. Let it stand. 